All right, so the Belgian quad has been fermenting here for about a week. I'm gonna get in here so you can see this a lot clearer. Down there is basically just a bunch of junk, the tube there that, that needs to get dumped. Right there is basically all the yeasts. And it's fairly clear. I mean, there's some stuff still floating in there, but it's not terrible. So what we're gonna do is today, let me move this back a little so you can see, we're gonna remove this and just replace it with a different one, um, which is going to allow this stuff to fall down and um, then we'll let this sit for about another almost two months. So first thing we're gonna do, actually this one's too big. So what I'll probably do is actually go clean this one and come back and put it on. Um, so the first thing we're gonna do here is just close this valve to make sure we don't lose too much. We are gonna lose some, there's just no way around it. But it also will stop air from getting up in here. The airlock I put on here, there's not a whole lot. So we're gonna just give this thing a twist. I don't wanna undo the valve. So that came off pretty easy. You put a bowl underneath because you are gonna have a little bit of a mess. There's no way around that. So what we're gonna do here is undo this. Like I said, the valve is closed. As you can see, that is just total gunk. Nothing useful there. So um, I am going to go clean this out and then re-sanitize that one since it is smaller. And then we'll come back and reattach it. All right, so we're going to get ready to put this back on now. Um, Say re-sanitized it, cleaned it out, re-sanitized it. Also sprayed some sanitary solution, uh, sanitizing solution up in here. Just in case, nothing should have got up in there, but it was exposed to air, so just sprayed it up in there a little bit when the valve was closed. That's what you see dripping. So uh, I'm gonna just dump this out and reattach this now. Just wanna make sure that's on there pretty snug. It doesn't have to be super tight, but just snug. And then we're going to give this an open slowly. As you can see there, there's still a whole bunch of garbage in there. So based on that, we may need to do this one more time. But uh, a lot of this is yeast that's left. So that being the case, I'm going to you know, let it sit here for a few days and see what collects in this area. And if there's still a fair amount of yeast here, because the yeast will stay on top. Um, then I'll, I'll leave it alone. But if not, I obviously don't, uh, <clears throat> it's leaking here, but that's just the liquid that's coming out the side from, from having, uh, sprayed it. But anyway, um, you know, the proteins and stuff can get, can get tossed, but if it's yeast, I want to keep that active in there for the entire fermentation time. So we'll see where it goes, but, uh, it's looking good. Temperature's good. Uh, the airlock I had to make is pretty crazy. I mean, you can see the proteins and the yeast in there. I mean, that's a three-foot tube. <laughs> and it still went all the way up and back down and in there. So, But overall, again, looking good. Uh, it smelled really good when I just opened it. So uh, happy with that. We'll see again where it goes here in the next couple of days. Um, and then uh, the next video may be just an update on that. Or it uh, may be doing this again or maybe when it's time to, to move it into secondary. So we'll see where it goes. Thanks for watching.